The IDEX SuitAlert test detects Pseudomonas aeruginosa in water samples in 24 hours with no confirmation step. SuitAlert is available in 100 milliliter and 250 milliliter formats. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to use the IDEX SuitAlert test for presence absence detection and most probable number quantification of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The SuitAlert 100 ml format can be used for presence absence detection and for quantification with the QuantiTray. The 250 ml format can be used only for presence absence detection. Please follow these testing guidelines. Use only sterile, non-buffered, oxidant-free water for dilutions. When reading test results, any blue fluorescence indicates the sample is positive for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The following procedures may not reflect your local regulations. For compliance testing, be sure to follow all local regulatory procedures. In the first demonstration, you'll learn how to use the SuitAlert test for presence absence detection of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. You will need a sterile, transparent, non-fluorescent 100 or 250 ml vessel, a temperature-controlled incubator, UV protective eyewear, a 6-watt, 365-nanometer UV lamp, and the SuitAlert reagent. Collect water samples according to your local regulations. Separate one appropriately sized SuitAlert pack from its strip, taking care not to accidentally open the other packs. Snap open the reagent pack and pour the powder into the water sample. Cap the vessel and swirl it for a few seconds. Some particles may remain undissolved. Incubate for 24 hours at 38 degrees centigrade plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade. View the sample under UV light in a dark environment. Keep the light within five inches of the sample. Remember these tips. Any blue fluorescence means a confirmed positive for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The intensity of the fluorescence does not reflect sample concentration. For optimum readability, replace the UV bulb every year. In this example, the right sample is negative and all the others are positive. If you're unsure whether the result is positive, compare the sample with a known negative. Incubate the sample up to an additional four hours, 28 hours total. Results are definitive at 28 hours. No confirmation steps are needed. Refer to the color chart on the SuitAlert box. Do not view the chart under UV light. High mineral content, especially magnesium or calcium, does not hinder detection, but can cause cloudiness and make the fluorescence appear whitish blue, as shown here. Next, you'll learn how to use SuitAlert with the QuantiTray method to determine the most probable number of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. You'll need a 100 ml vessel and the other materials used for presence absence detection. In addition, you'll need IDEX antifoam solution, an IDEX QuantiTray, a QuantiTray Sealer 2X, QuantiTray rubber inserts, and the most probable number table included in the QuantiTray box. All of these items are available from IDEX. Turn on the QuantiTray sealer. The amber light illuminates. Wait about 10 minutes until the green light illuminates. The sealer has now reached operating temperature. Add the SuitAlert powder to a 100 ml sample and cap the vessel. This time, swirl until the reagent dissolves completely. Add two drops of IDEX antifoam solution, or use a sample vessel that contains antifoam, and swirl again. Use only an indelible felt tip marker to label the quanti tray. Adhesive labels may adhere to the sealer roller, and ballpoint pens may puncture the paper. Hold the quanti tray at the top with the well side facing your palm. Push the top edge of the quanti tray in with your free hand while squeezing the tray into a circle. Open the quanti tray by gently pulling the foil tab away from the plastic side. Be careful not to tear the tab. Do not touch the inside of the tray. Pour the sample mixture into the quanti tray, avoiding contact with the foil tab. Place the filled quanti tray on the rubber insert, making sure each well fits its corresponding hole. Push the insert with the tray into the sealer until the sealer grabs the tray and pulls it into the slot. In about 15 seconds, the sealer distributes the sample mixture into the quanti tray wells, seals the wells, and ejects the sealed tray. If you need to reverse the motor, press and hold the reverse button. However, do not reverse the motor if the rubber insert is completely inside the sealer. Incubate the sealed tray at 38 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade, for 24 hours. You can stack up to 10 trays, 
do not place trays in a box or a bag. View the quanti tray with a UV lamp in a dark environment. Keep the light within five inches of the tray. Count the number of fluorescing wells. Remember these tips. Any blue fluorescence means a confirmed positive for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. For optimum readability, replace the UV bulb every year. To see fluorescence more clearly, place the rubber insert over the tray before viewing under UV light. An example with both strong and weak fluorescence is shown here. There are a total of 10 fluorescent wells. If you're unsure whether a result is positive, incubate the sample up to an additional four hours, 28 hours total. Compare the sample side by side with a known negative sample. Refer to the color chart on the Pseudalert box. Do not view the chart under UV light. High mineral content, especially magnesium or calcium, does not hinder detection, but can cause cloudiness and make the fluorescence appear whitish-blue, as shown here. Occasionally, you may see yellow fluorescing wells. These do not affect test results. Count them as negative. As you count the blue fluorescent wells, place a check mark on each positive well. Count the checked wells and then refer to the corresponding positive well line on the MPN table, included with the quanti trays. The most probable number for this example is 13.7 per 100 ml. Remember these tips. Results are definitive at 24 to 28 hours. No confirmation steps are needed. Positives before 24 hours and negatives after 28 hours are also valid. If you have questions or need more information, please call IDEX at the number on your screen.